Oh, this is what I wanted. Let me take it out. Look at this. Huh. I'm so bitty on that. Ralph Co. too. And there's no damage. So bitty on that. Alrighty, welcome back. Today we are at a new place. We're at Pickers Nation. Um, it's a, kind of like an antique mall. Hopefully the prices are great here. We've been here about a year ago. And then after this, we're going to a auction, which is right next door. Yep. Um, that's in about an hour. So let's get in there and see what we can find. Yeah, it should be fun. Right, here we go. <laughs> Look at this lady. <laughs> With the gloves on. Oh my God. Purple. Ooh, that's nice. I like that. <laughs> I'd rather have it orange or green. I'd rather have it black. Well, back here is all 30% off. So let's see what we can find over $10. Ooh, look at that. Like that. Let's see. Some crystal perfume bottles. Ooh, this looks old. Basket with a lid. $70. Oh, look at the crystal lighter. It's only 18 Hand-cut crystal. Hmm, the Anna Lee. How much is he? see a price on it. Oh. $12. Oh, look at the elephant. Ooh, I like this. Does that say 50? Elephant. Hmm. We have some slag glass up here. I like that. It's supposed to have a lid. It's only $10. Hmm. Huh. A nice beaded purse. That's in Fairyland. Ooh, Not it sure. is. Isn't it? Yeah. 55 minus. Was that in this booth? 30% off. Ooh. Um, I feel like they sell for like 40. Awesome. Yeah, we've had to get it for 40. <clears throat> All right, let's move on. 15. Ooh, look at these hat pins. What is that one? Looks like a micro mosaic. Oh, it is micro mosaic. I know the longer they are, the older. Yeah, but it's after a certain date, um, they became illegal because they're old weapons. <laughs> Look at this angel satin glass. 22. Mary Gregory. Yeah. I don't know, know if I would say that's Mary Gregory. I'm not, it might be. All right, let's get, away, it's an antique one. get away from the radio. Okay, well, this booth is not having a sale, but I see some nice dishes. Teacup saucer. Never seen that mark before. Let's look at the tag. Art Deco period hand painted cup saucers, dessert dishes. 42. Oh, that's something I would have to research. I do like that pattern. It is Art Deco look. I have some pins up here. Thing that catches my eye. Ooh, look at that. What does that say? Oh, inkwell. Ooh, look at this. This Art Deco glass dish. Oh, 1981. 
<laughs> supposed to be a lady taking a bath. Let's see what else we have. Got some of the glass fruit. Oh, look at that face. Ooh. Really likes the red with that gold. It's a Czechoslovakia. 35. I'm not going to pick that up. Look at that clock. It's going to fall. Let's see what else. Look at this Tanala bird. It surely looks like it would be made in Italy. Oh, it's Stingle. It's a broken um, flower. That's pretty. What else? Look at this dog. I like this one. Ooh, it's heavy. Look at the tag. Oh, 50. Look at this paperweight. Holy moly. It's huge. It kind of has that pulled feather design. I'll see his signature. Hmm. It's $35. Maybe if it was signed, I would spend that much. Right, let's go over here. There's some, someone's at the door. <laughs> Here's some amethyst. That's all right. Kind of looks like a pumpkin. Some marigold. Yeah, the last marigold I had, I still have one. It took forever to sell. Just one of them I had two. <laughs> That's piggy. Made in, oh, made in Italy. William Sonoma. $24. That's nice. The ones I'm looking at are is this one, the anthropomorphic. Ooh, look at that. Clay art, California, maybe. Yeah. Mm, put that up here. That's a shaker, by the way. Then these two. Ooh, look at that. Ten dollars. I don't think they belong to that, but I'm going to do those. Oh, look at these cute ones. Japan. You got the cat and the chair. Whoops. You're all good. What is this? Like that looks like a maybe a cabbage. That looks like Picard. R.S. Germany Picard. Hmm. Might have to do that too. Of course, I got to review it with Michael. I like that. how I miss these two little cuties. Look at the face. I love it. They're salt and pepper shakers. There's no markings on it. Five dollars I'll do. 
I feel like I could get like 18. And all the cuter they are, the better they'll sell. So I'm put those up here. Oh, look how cute. I might have to keep them. <laughs> and these, I um, was talking with the, the booth owner. Um, it's $10 for the set of three. All right, let's go find Michael. All right, so this booth is having 75% off. I had to put my stuff down. This looks like goofus glass. Oh, it's not. Hazel Atlas hand-painted ashtrays. Those are nice. They're 75% off for a set. And we have to do that. That's a pretty flower pattern on there. It has some gold. That's where I'm spending most of my <laughs> Ooh, chenille. Oh, that was here? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 75% off. And then I'm looking at these cute penguins. Willie and Millie. 15. It's a very light plastic. Probably made 1950s. Yep. Oh, the kissing boy and girl. Twenty. That'd be twenty dollars. Seventy-five percent off of eighty-five. Yeah, that's an older one. I so think we get sixty. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that too. The lantern. Oh, look at these birds. <clears throat> Bird. Oh, it's left in. Let's see these soup soup bowls. Oh, the cream of soup bowl. Czechoslovakia. Look at these swans. Let's look at the big one. USA. McCoy? No, that's a little bit newer. I feel like it would be Mark McCoy. I'm going to leave those. What about this bird? It's a porcelain. It just says Japan on it. All right. Some pink depression glass that we find everywhere. Look at that light. Hey, he miss these. Wonder why he didn't get these too. I'm going to get them. Ooh, look at the butterfly. We oh, like that. Oh, 18 though. That's pretty. Well, it's 75% off. Oh, it's a table runner. Hmm. Oh, I think I'm going to have to do that. I love butterflies too. Just like I like cats. Yeah, I'm going to do that. See how much this one is. Oh, 25. It's a pretty flower design. That one's all right. That's a big tablecloth. I'm gonna stick with these two. All right, my hands are getting full. I'm, I think I'm gonna leave those. Yeah. I'm gonna leave them. We have some Napco. That's pretty. It's 13. Wait, let me get my stuff. Hmm, back here I see some Pyrex. I never saw this pattern. I'll look at the planter's decanter. You see this a lot in this pattern. 
Russell Wright. Hmm, what about this? Hmm. All right. Ooh. See McCoy. How much are you? I think it's twenty dollars. I think that's about how much it would go for twenty five thirty. Is there any sales? No, there's not one in this booth, but we could look. Have some of the Wedgwood glasses. Batman. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at the inside. It's ninety dollars. I like that opalescent. Oh, if that was green, I might get it. <laughs> Especially since it comes with a nice um, metal. It'd be silver plated. Let's go. Ooh, I spotted a piggy. Oh, it's very heavy. Hand painted cement pig. I bet it is cement. <laughs> We have the desk lamp with the original, um, it doesn't look like it was replaced, the lighting. I don't know if I ever have that plugged in. <laughs> Let's go. Ooh. My God, so much nice stuff. I could look at everything. Let's go over here. <clears throat> we already looked in the 75% off. 50% off plates and dishware and cups. Do I spot anything? I see some pottery. Some mark. Oh, BBP. <laughs> You're looking at it that way, you're like, what? What mark is that? And the blendo. What about this? It has a Dutch look to it. Oh, I used to play with these. I think my n nephew and nieces have them. Glasses, we used, we used to try to put those on. <laughs> and the lady. Oh. Okay. Yeah, the Felix the cat. Mug. Ooh, look at the lion. It's coal paint. Some chips there. That's expected with something this old. Sixteen dollars. Mm. Look at this goofy. <laughs> it's strange. It's neat though. Neat and different. I like different. Ooh, we have a mushroom. Corning. That's a pattern I never seen either. Six dollars. Some scratches on there. Then the spring blossom. Ten dollars for four. No. Maybe if it was like five, I would do it. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those. All right, let's go find something we could get without making you dizzy. See some McCoy smiley face. Hey, I have that vase in blue. What do they say it is?
pottery vase. I don't think they know what it is either. The one we have is blue and like a baby blue. I can't remember how much we have it listed. We have some Roseville. Ooh, some Fire King. 65. Oh, yeah. I still have yet to find any of this to resell. Carefully put in there. Okay. Some more Roseville down there and some Fenton milk glass. I like that design. I keep almost putting my hand through the glass. <laughs> Some Pyrex uh, primary colors. I feel like that bowl is supposed to be yellow, not brown. Oh, that's a nice red vase. That looks Art Deco. Let me see if I can see the bottom. No, the lighting isn't that great. Oh. I'm afraid to open it. No, it's locked. Looks like it could be a hall pitcher. No, that one is. Ooh, I know Michael was looking for a gnome. $90. That's a cement one. I think he wants a cast iron. It's a little creepy. Look at the dog. Oh yeah, original paint Boston terrier door stopper. That might scare me away. Ooh, I love these Gone with the Wind type of lamps. I want a round globe there, and then a round one here. I want a cranberry red one. Ooh. Oh, it's plastic. Refrigerator dishes. 38. Let's see, that's like $20. Then we have the poodle up here. Is that a TV lamp? No. Then we have the Flintstones. Oh, I walked right past these lamps. That's neat. I can't tell if that's the original shade or not. Oh, wow, I like that. How much are you? You get a pair. 95. Ooh, well worth it. I still have those lamps I have to list at home. So walk away, Jeremy. We have the dolphin. Nurse Flipper would like that. 45. Very cool bronze dolphin. Night. Nightlight? It could be a nightlight or, or a TV. Okay. Okay, so over here we have decanter with the glasses. It says Murano. Um, it's always hard to tell. I know you could tell by the way the flowers painted the direction. But that is in great condition for $50. I feel like that's worth more. Do you want to we spend $50 on that? Hmm. I know Michael may want it for himself, actually. For our butler's pantry. 50, I gotta save money for the auction we're going to. Alright, we got... Oh, there's Michael. <laughs> <laughs> Find anything else? No, I was looking at this lamp for home for my Courier Knives shade. <gasps> oh, that might fit. I think, it would, five. Oh, you think it would match the base, though? Yeah, I think it would actually. One thirty-five. Mm. I don't know if it was on sale. I would 
Yeah. yeah. What about that vase back there? Hold up. Have yeah, mercy. I spot something. Get out of the way. Just kidding. <laughs> Ooh, Bavaria. Ooh, like the iridescent on it. It's like a purple and green. 39. I think this might be the big light. I know I bought something. Remember I found out the Castorium. And I tested it and it wasn't big light, but this one might be. $28. Some art glass down here. I don't know, for some reason that reminded me of a uh, fish. <laughs> Maybe if you turn it that way. <laughs> it has a shiny bottom, so it's a little bit higher quality. It's 58. It has a silver flakes in it. I know I'm drawn to the red. It's definitely hand blown. About this one. Ice bucket. 22. Oh, I knew that was going to be heavy. Um, I wouldn't say that's Murano or anything, but... It has that um, smoky gray color, which I think people are starting to like. Looks like it could be from 1930s. Made in Italy. It's a pretty design. I don't see a price on it. 50% off small trucks and cars in this case. Well, might as well take a look. Michael's cashing out. Matchbox. I don't know too much about toys. All right, I think I'm, we're going to go to the auction now. I'll see you guys there. Oh, look at the sink well. 95, that's worth it. Put your letters in there. All right, say so we get inside the auction and I'll show you guys what we might bid on. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, just take that tape off. All right. Ooh, hand-painted. All right, let's go inside. Let's go up here. Let's see what we have, any kind of goodies. So, the Murano Clown. Oh, it's repaired. Oh, it has Murano on the bottom. Oh, man. Too bad that's um, cracked. What about this vase? That's pretty. I like black and red. Some ashtrays. Nineteen forty seven. It looks weird. It has a big, big forehead. <laughs> Does it say Barbie? On the clothing. Oh, what about on the body? I don't know. I don't think that is. Ooh, is that Italy? I mean, it's marked. And we have this one. Oh, this is what I wanted. Let me take it out. Look at this. Huh. I'm so bidding on that. Ralco, too. And there's no damage. 
something on that. My gold's like fifteen, twenty dollars. Ooh. What is that? It has some chips on it. Oh man. What is the design? As a scratches. A deer. Deers. It's bohemian. Yep, pup clear. Hmm. It's not bad. That look good in the butler's pantry of some pilgrim. It's broken. Pilgrim glass. That's busted. Oh, that's the one I like. Of course it is. Um, we got the bully one. So I'm, I'll bet on these. Yeah. I mean, they don't have a lot of re high resale value, but I like this one too. All right, so a bit on the pilgrim glass. Don't break. Wow, ashtray. That's different. I might bet on that too. <laughs> I don't know how much it's worth, but. Some china. Some wood. All the decanter stoppers. That one has gold in it. We have some of the Fostoria American pattern. About these. I was thinking maybe Waterford. Some marigold. Hmm. I might do the glasses. These look like they could be antique. They are. A little chip there. I guess I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get that. I like the blue on this bowl. I don't know who made it, but it could be Cambridge, maybe. Might as well look at everything before I start bidding on stuff. A little mark there. That's pretty transfer. I don't know if I like the brown. Yeah, I don't like the brown on that, but the pink. Let's go over there. Oh, uh, salt cellar. Look at that. I never see the blue. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, it's a sh uh, grinder, so a pepper grinder. I think I'll do that. That's pretty too. It's a little bit newer. I like that. Wonder that's lead. This one. If it's cheap, I'll get it. Oh, that's pretty. Let me see if these are Swarovski. Oh, it's back rats. Ooh, I'm so bidding on these. Ah, yay. Back rat. They're all back rat. That one's not. I'm gonna bid on all those. Let me see there's, if there's any damage. Oh yeah. Wedgewood. Hmm. 
Look at that. It's a little dresser drawer jar. Ah, look at his face. It looks like he's cross-eyed. <laughs> Staffordshire. I would use that as a coffee mug. Look how big it is. <laughs> Over here we have that's Wedgewood too, and there's Wedgewood back there too. It's Westmoreland. Hmm, look at that. And we have this one, it's Westmoreland. See the W on the bottom. That's a different design on it. The purple flowers it has a textured, almost looks like rock candy. Is that Sadler? Oh, it is. If that goes cheap, I'll get that. Have a Amberina Fenton hat. I May mean, I'll get that if it's cheap. Have the Tanala bird. Oh, it's not. It's made in Italy. It's a nice pink. What else do we have? Oh, you have the hen on the nest, a mini one. It's a ceramic. Hmm, look at the cow. <laughs> and the cat. <laughs> Oh, that's um Jordan Imports. Ooh, it's sticky. Oh, that definitely is. Ooh, I'll get that. It's very large and heavy, but oh my god, for Italian glass. Ooh, it's all sticky. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I'm definitely getting that. And, and that. Ooh, they have some good stuff. Especially this. Never see that pattern. Oh, that's a... Uh... What do you... Oh, I forget how to be ship. No, we can't ship that. <laughs> Ooh, with some Nippon. Pretty sure. Ooh, the Morimura. This is made in Japan. So that's not Aussie. Oh. oh. <clears throat> Still nice though. This one is. That's okay. I like more um scenery. Yester? Ooh, no. no. <laughs> Ooh, all of this. All the goodies. Um, Bavaria. Syracuse, <laughs> China. <laughs> oh, some hand blown blue glass. The Fenton thumbprint pattern. Oh, this is what I wanted to look at. These. They're usually um etched in their like anniversary or initials. Now this bigger bowl I think could sell well. Do I want to ship that though? This looks like the stone critter sandcast. I'm trying to see if there's any chips before I bit on it. A little bit. A little bit on the nose. But I think I will bit on that. I saw these in the picture. These two vases. I'm not sure about these. Has that gold and then the bird on there. Hmm. 
I like the blue though. It's hand painted too. The hall or my clay. Drip glaze. Alright, I think I gotta go wash my hands. Pipe there. Let's check out these birds over here. Hoffman original figurines. It's cute. Oh, came off the base. Oh, this one. Oh. Wood thrush. I already see a petal broken off. You have a left end. You see these a lot at Goodwill. Over here I see some women. Linen. Ooh, that one's nice. The green. Have some chenille. Wait, that's not chenille. It's just a hand towel. I think I will bid on these bad boys. If it's for the whole box. Yeah, you have some tablecloths in there. They'll be worth it. If you get the whole box for like $5. Yeah, do that. Victoria. I know there's a lot of reproductions for the Victoria Ironstone. I wanted to look at this bell. You have a bedpan. <laughs> I think that's a bedpan. Mm -hmm. Michael, those. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How do you know? <clears throat> All right, welcome to the question and answer part of our video. We're going to try to answer the mostly asked questions. So we'll start with um, how long have you guys been reselling? Um, I've been reselling for four years and Michael about three years yeah I would say three yeah I start I sold for about a year then Michael joined in yeah I noticed um he was making a little bit of extra money and we like the same things like vintage stuff yeah. so I noticed um, he was having fun doing it yeah it started as a hobby and now it's part of our income <laughs> um let's go to the next question and the next question was um do you guys do eBay full time or do you have a, do you just do it on the side? Um, Jeremy's a nurse. We both work at a nursing home. Yep. Uh, we do it part time. We're able to go part time because of eBay yeah. and YouTube. Um, yeah, I don't know if we'd be able to go back to full time. I know it's I know so hard. To. It's extremely stressful working as a nurse. Um, if you watch the nurse flipper, she recently went full time reselling on eBay and that's my goal to eventually resell full-time and Michael's going to school to be an occupational therapist yep so um, next question the next commonly asked question was who was born first I was <laughs> <laughs> um, Michael we're only a minute apart my mom had to have a c-section which is quick just pull us out mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, a funny story, my mom, our mom, didn't know she was having twins till a week before she had us. I couldn't imagine that. Yeah, she kind of suspected she was so big, but other people didn't. Yeah. Um, and our grandparents stepped in, helped out, mm -hmm. babysitting. All right, next question is, how do we know so much about glassware and pottery? Um, it's basically just researching and you have to find what you like. And we like glass, yeah. art glass. Um, and we, you learn as you go along. Yeah, we have um, books. Let's show yeah. that. These kind of books, glassware books. Yeah, we just started buying these. Um, 
That's how I knew so much about Fastoria. Whenever I find something, I just look in the book, or it's easier to look online, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and <clears throat> watching all the YouTube videos, we learned a lot from that. You know, the crazy lamp lady. Yep. Um, the nurse flipper. Um, Jeffrey and Barb, I love. <laughs> Nifty, thrifty. I can never remember. <laughs> okay, next. All right, next question is, do we ever leave New York to visit other thrift stores? Uh, we have not yet, but we want to plan a weekend trip to Massachusetts or Pennsylvania just to see what else is out there. Hit the thrift stores. Um, I believe Pennsylvania, <clears throat> the Goodwill thrift stores are kind of cheaper than up yeah. here. So you guys can see the prices in um, our local Goodwill. Yeah, they're high. <laughs> Um, another question was, do we have other siblings? Yeah, we have three older, uh, two older brothers. <laughs> um, two older brothers. Um, we have nieces and nephews. Um, another question was, what day we were born? We were born May 20th, which is coming up. <laughs> oh, Lord. We're going to be 36 years old. And it feels like it. <laughs> Next question is, have we ever broken anything while we were thrifting? Um, Michael never broke anything. I broke something. Um, uh, I dropped a wooden box before. It was like a little trinket one. And that oh, broke. yeah. Um, I, I offered to pay for it, but... I broke um, a Lennox glass, crystal glass. I was at Salvation Army. I had the child seat opened, opened and it fell through shattered glass. I got cuts on my leg. Not bad though. It was I wasn't profusely bleeding, <laughs> but the poor um, staff at Salvation Army had to clean it up. I offered to clean it, but she said no. Um, that was one of our favorite staff at Salvation Army. I would have made you clean it up. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> okay, and somebody asked what item um sold the highest before that was a japanese or made in japan um old camera um we sold that for 500 and i got it for a dollar at an estate sale i found it in a box in their um garage they didn't know what it was yeah was it 500 or 600 <gasps> five. Oh, i thought it was six uh, maybe it was it was Last year, I don't remember. Yeah, eventually we'll find something that's worth over a thousand. I <laughs> hope. <laughs> All right, well, that is it for our question and answers. I hope you guys enjoyed our video. Yep. Um, our next video, we'll try to show you what we won at the auction. Um, we did get a lot of stuff for cheap, cheap price. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.